the best advice that was ever given to me was when someone said, Joe, you know that you can know for sure where you're going when you die. And I said, I want to know this. And I sat on a guy's porch when I was 17 years old until midnight. And he didn't show me the illustration I'm about to show you, but he did tell me the basic facts. That you must know that you are a sinner in need of a Savior. And all of your righteousness is as filthy rags, and you need someone to save you from your sin. Because if you don't have someone to save you from your sin, you'll end up making a payment. I use it, this wallet to illustrate this. I want this hand right here to represent you and me, and this wallet to represent all of our sin. Here's what the Bible says. The Bible says God loves us but hates our sin. The Bible says we all have this sin. The Bible says all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. That there is not a just man upon the earth that doeth good and sinneth not. And you say, well, I certainly I do good. Well, certainly I, there's some things I do that are good, but bottom line, friends, is doing good is good, but doing good isn't good enough to get you to heaven. You've got to be perfect in order to be in heaven. So here we are with this sin. The Bible says God loves us, hates our sin. And here's what the Bible says. It says that the wages of this sin, the penalty for the sin is death. That's separation from God. Death. The wages of sin is death. The wages of sin is not church membership. The wages of sin is not walking an aisle or praying a prayer or raising a hand or it's not giving money or baptisms or anything like that. The wages of sin is death. Someone has to die. I want this hand, and I mean it reverently, to represent the Lord Jesus. The Bible says that God loved us and made a payment by his death on the cross. Now notice that. The wages of sin is death. And Jesus Christ came to this earth 2,000 years ago to die on the cross for your sin. He didn't come to this earth to join a church to pay for your sin. He didn't come to this earth to give money to pay for your sin. He came to this earth to do the only thing that was possible to procure your salvation, and that was to die. People say, well, Jesus died on the cross. Sure, he could have suffered on the cross, not died, and he would have not saved us. He had to bleed and had to die, suffer and die. The fulfillment of prophecy, by the way. He had to die, though, to make a payment of death. 2,000 years ago, he died. And the Bible says, for by grace are you saved through faith. Not water baptism, not walking in aisle, not joining a church, not coming to church. Faith alone and Christ alone is the only thing that gets us to heaven. It's when we in the quietness of our own minds say something like this, Lord, the best I know how I believe that Jesus died for me. You can say, well, I believe that Jesus died died for everyone, but if you have not received that free gift for yourself, you're not saved. You have to receive the free gift by knowing that he died for you, by believing that he died on the cross for you. And if you have not done that, you're not saved. You're not going to heaven. But see, salvation is simple for us because it's just faith alone in Christ alone. That's the best advice I ever got. And I would say that's the best advice that I could give you is to trust Jesus Christ as your personal Savior today. Please don't leave this room without doing that. Please trust Him as your Savior today.